Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin our next session, Navigating Asia's Uncertain Future, Lessons for Tomorrow's Leaders. And I'd like to introduce our distinguished speakers, Pita Lim Zantat, former leader of Thailand's Mood Forward Party. <clears throat> And Lee Jae-yong, Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee of People, Party, People Power Party. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome them with a warm round of applause. Shall we begin? Yes, I am the Chair of the Foreign Relations Committee. 지금부터는 어, 편의를 위해서 영어로 대담을 하기로 하겠고요. 어, 제 영어 실력이 좀 부족하더라도 준비하겠습니다. Not just a person, a political figurehead in Thailand, but his name uh, really resonates a lot of different uh, good things in throughout the Asia. Uh, I know we are facing one of the most difficulties, or let's say democracy is facing very difficult time throughout the world, yet I think Kun Pita is, he resonates or he represents uh, a hope. Uh, something that we dream of uh, and something that we all wish that everyone can share uh, globally and what he has achieved uh, throughout only in short, such a short time actually, in five years, right? Since you've been the politician. Yes, but, but you've been far too kind to me now. But. I, I'm a, I, I, I think I, I was asked to do that. No, no, you really is a, a fascinating, thank you, thank you. A fascinating story. Yes. So um, thank you very much, everyone, to be here. Um, so I introduced myself in, in Korean, but right now I'm serving. Uh, I'm, I myself is a former parliamentarian in Korea. I served in Korean parliament from 2012 to 2016. Uh, we call the 19th Assembly in South Korea. I represent, or I'm part of a conservative uh, party in Korea. Recently, we had a, a very, very bad result in Korea. Our uh, conservative party had a landslide lost in just in April. Um, and I'm actually very interested to hear from Kun Pita how he was so successful running an amazing campaign and resulting in such a great success in Thailand. But uh, let me finish there and let's uh, ask questions. Um, Kun Pita, sure. welcome to Korea. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's uh, always a, a pleasure to come back to South Korea. Oh, so how, long have, uh, how many times have you been to Korea? Uh, twice this year. Okay. Uh, so I've been asked to speak at a, a university, a Korea university once when it comes to political science and campaign management. And this time I'm returning for ALC. So it's a good opportunity to be back. Well, I'm sure those students... weather is a bit different, but uh, it's always warm and welcome when I return to South Korea. I'm sure those uh, students were excited to see you when you were at the Korea, university, Korea University. Korea University. Right. Uh, by the way, to let everyone know, uh, this show or this session is being uh, streamed live in Joseon Ilbo's website. So I'm sure your 12 million followers, I heard, right? <laughs> your 12 million followers in Thailand might be watching this. Uh, that's the social media followers. Well, followers are followers. Combine of like Twitter and X, sorry, X and uh, Instagram and Facebook, but there are probably some repetition across platforms. So I'm not going to boast on that. <laughs> well, I'm sure your popularity it actually doesn't, doesn't is beyond 12 million. <laughs> it's really about the engagement, not the numbers. <laughs> okay. Well, that, but numbers speaks a lot. I mean, the, the vote that you, your party received when you were running a campaign, yes. uh, that was something no one expected, isn't it? I mean, I'm not so sure about others, but I can speak for myself and my leadership team that we expected it, the result. Mm. Uh, uh, the campaign that we ran, uh, we call it precision politics in the sense that we look at a couple of factors 
uh, we call it 4C framework. Let's start with that so that okay. we get the conversation uh, going with the parliamentarians here or the politicians that is listening uh, from all around the world. We have 4C framework, and that's called, uh, that starts with the candidate itself in each district. Second C is competitors. Mm -hmm. A third C is the count. Right. And the fourth C is the constituencies. Right. Uh, so the candidate is strong or not strong. The competitor is, you know, what's the weak point? And count is to look at the previous historical results in the past in each district. And candidacy, whether, uh, you know, what keeps them awake at night, you know, how old they are, are they over 40 or under 40, and things like that. So when you combine all that out of the entire political canvas, mm. we can be very precise in the way we run the campaign. And the last time I said out loud in, in a public media, I said my target was 160 just a week before uh, last year's election. Mm -hmm. I said the, the, the uh, expectation or the target was 160, and we got 151. And that's out of 500 seats. That's out of 400 seats. 400 because, seats, sorry. Because there's party list of 100, mm -hmm. and there's a district MP of 400. So right. out of that 400, I wanted 160 combined from these 4C factors. Like right. I used, you know, whether the candidate is strong, you know, whether the candidate is dominant, whether the competitor is not so strong and weak, whether the count in the previous historical elections we've been growing and then we look at the constituencies and we we ask you know what keeps them awake at night right. and then when i put all these criteria together then i get 160 you know target quick wins that i know out of that 400 from that framework of thinking and also all my resources all my time all my policies all my platform are focused uh, prioritized on those things. So that's why when nobody might not expect the result of a three-year-old party and a rookie leader like me leading uh, a, a political campaign ten years, after, nine years after a military coup in Thailand, that we'll be able to disrupt uh, Thai politics. But it's not by chance. It's really by uh, the hard work and management and, and data-driven as well as you know, the will of the people of Thailand that they are fed up with the uh, previous or the old regime of uh, ways of running things, especially after the milita military coup that happened uh, yesterday, 10 years ago. Yesterday, 10 years ago. That's when Ten the military anniversary coup of last coup. Of, of the most recent coup. I don't want to use the word last. Okay, most recent <laughs> one. So there's, there's to always, be more. In Thailand, there's always probability of, you know, military intervention. Mm -hmm. But, you know, 10 years have passed. Uh, one year ago, people of Thailand have spoken that they wanted a new narrative, a new change, a new consensus. And so because of that, the mismanagement of the economy and things like that, and they felt like, you know, uh, election is, is a way of expressing uh, the way I want uh, in the country. And so those factors combine of our efficiency and effectiveness in our campaign management and also the will of the people of Thailand. And that's why we got 14 million votes or about 40% of the votes and also the districts combined to be the largest uh, political party in Thailand so far. So I made a mistake by saying 12 million. It's actually 14 million. Uh, it's 14 million, <laughs> yes. Well, you know, that 4C, the framework that you just uh, laid out, I mean, it, you know, I, th I think there's got to be a bit more than that because that 4C framework is kind of campaign method methodology that probably everyone wants to use throughout yes. the world, right? I mean, we have our own campaign. We try to be very scientific, methodical, and we try to go through the, uh, the so-called the, uh, playbook. Mm. But the result that you have, the, the, we saw through your campaign, I think there's got to be more to it. I mean, so for example, it leads to my mm -hmm. next question. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the Economist, uh, there's a, a democ democracy index. Yes, Last year, by the publication, exactly. the Economist. In fact, uh, they mentioned a lot about your campaign in that uh, oh, yes. as well. Yes, I know. It says, it. the outsized political influence of the military in Pakistan and Thailand means that elections are far from being